solving ratio and rate problems using tape diagrams. This is a visual model that could be very helpful. We'll start with a context problem about chocolates. A box of chocolates has both dark and milk chocolates. The ratio of dark to milk chocolates is 2 to 3. How many chocolates might be in the box? So the first thing we want to realize is there are fewer dark chocolates than milk chocolates. In fact, for every two dark chocolates in this box, there are three milk chocolates. So it turns out the fewest number of chocolates that there could be in the box would be five. That is, if each one of these blocks that I have in my diagram represents one chocolate, there would be five chocolates in the box. But what if each one of the blocks in my diagram represents two chocolates? In that case, there would be 10 chocolates in the box. So without more information, we don't really know how many chocolates there are in the box. In the next problem, we have more information that's given. First, the ratio of dark to milk chocolates is still 2 to 3. But we are told that there are 18 milk chocolates in the box. And the question is asked, how many dark chocolates are there? So we want to start with the given information about 18 milk chocolates. And I notice that in my diagram, the milk chocolates are represented by three blocks. So 18 divided by 3 means 6. So each one of these blocks represents six chocolates, including the dark blocks. They are also six chocolates. Therefore, the dark chocolates are a total of 6 times 2, or 12, dark chocolates in the box. Now one last problem, a box of chocolates has both dark and milk chocolates. This time the ratio of dark to milk chocolates is 3 to 5. So for every 3 dark chocolates, there are 5 milk chocolates. There are 72 chocolates in the box in all. How many milk chocolates are there? So now looking at the 72, this is a bigger box of chocolates of course, in my diagram, there are eight blocks. 72 divided by eight equals nine. That will help me figure out how many milk chocolates there are in the box. Every block is represented by nine chocolates. And for milk chocolates, there's nine times five, or 45 milk chocolates in the box. This is a brief introduction of how to use tape diagrams to solve ratio and rate problems.